What happens when two black holes collide? The universe shakes, space rips, and time itself begins to echo in unimaginable ways. Imagine two invisible titans drifting through space, each a collapsed star so dense that even light cannot escape. They are black holes, the ultimate cosmic predators. For billions of years, these black holes orbit each other in a deadly dance. As they spiral inward, they shed energy in the form of gravitational waves. The closer they get, the more violently space itself bends. The gravitational field becomes a maelstrom of warped physics, where Einstein's equations start to weep. Then, the collision. In a fraction of a second, two singularities merge into one. The result? A gravitational shock wave that travels across the fabric of reality. We detected this in 2015. For the first time in human history, LIGO picked up a gravitational wave from two black holes colliding 1.3 billion light years away. This wasn't just sound, it was the universe speaking through vibrations in space-time. And we, tiny observers on a blue dot, finally heard it. That ripple traveled across galaxies, through nebulae, past quasars, and finally touched our instruments. Proof that black hole collisions weren't theory. They were real. When two black holes collide, the resulting force is so powerful, it converts mass into energy with an efficiency no bomb can match. That energy radiates as gravitational waves, ripples in the very geometry of space-time. It's not light, not sound, but vibrations in existence itself. These waves travel at the speed of light, carrying information about mass, spin, and the moment two cosmic behemoths became one. We use laser interferometers to detect these waves. The change they cause? less than the width of a proton, yet we can measure it. This is pure physics magic, confirming Einstein's 100-year-old prediction. The universe behaves just as relativity said it would, right down to the last decimal. And it doesn't stop there. These black hole mergers help us measure the expansion of the universe, acting like cosmic lighthouses without light. Every collision we detect is a time machine, the signal we hear now was born before humans even existed. We're listening to the ancient universe. Some galaxies contain binary black holes, two monstrous objects orbiting their galactic center like twin gravitational jaws. These pairs form when galaxies merge. Each galaxy's supermassive black hole gets trapped in orbit with the other, doomed to spiral together for eons. Eventually, they merge too, creating the most violent events in the universe. Some scientists believe this is how ultra-massive black holes are born. The most famous example, OJ287, a system where a smaller black hole plunges into a larger one every 12 years, flaring up with immense energy. These cosmic collisions aren't rare. The universe is full of them, and each one is a chapter in the story of galactic evolution. What's left behind is not just one black hole, but a remnant that often gets a gravitational kick, launching it across space at thousands of kilometers per second. Yes, you heard that right. Merged black holes can be ejected from galaxies entirely, becoming rogue singularities adrift in the cosmic dark. Gravitational waves don't just inform us about collisions. They may unlock clues about dark matter, extra dimensions, even the beginning of time. Some physicists believe high-frequency waves from the early universe still echo today, like a cosmic hum from the Big Bang. Others suggest black hole mergers might expose flaws in general relativity, perhaps hints of a quantum gravity theory yet to be discovered. And what if the waves we detect aren't just from this universe? Some theorists speculate colliding black holes could create gateways to other realms, We've only just begun to listen. Every new detection could reveal stranger truths, even challenge our understanding of space, time, and reality itself. In the end, black holes that collide are more than destructive events. They are messages, ancient and powerful, written in the curves of space-time. They remind us we are part of something vast and ancient, where gravity sings, time stretches, 
and light itself obeys these invisible giants. And every time we listen, we're no longer alone in the silence. We're reading the pulse of the cosmos, one collision at a time. Future detectors like LISA will launch into space, stretching kilometers across, ready to catch even deeper, older waves. Black hole whispers from the dawn of time. These waves might reveal primordial black holes, tiny relics from the Big Bang, formed before the first stars, older than galaxies themselves. Such discoveries could answer impossible questions. What existed before the universe? Did time have a beginning, or will it loop endlessly through gravitational memory? With every detection, we sharpen our vision of the invisible. Black holes, once silent, now speak, and we're learning how to listen better. Each collision we observe proves that we're not just staring into darkness, we're communing with the structure of the universe itself. We are the first generation to hear these echoes, to know that space can vibrate that gravity has a voice and it speaks of immortality. Somewhere out there, two more black holes are spiraling toward each other. In a billion years, their union will ring across the cosmos and reach us. And when that wave reaches Earth, someone will be listening. Someone like you, wondering what secrets lie within a ripple from the abyss. Because in every black hole collision, there's a story, a love story of gravity a funeral for stars, and a birth cry of new physics. If the universe is whispering, isn't it time we listen closer? Subscribe to BuzzMind, and together we'll decode the most epic stories ever written in the fabric of space and time.